Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 7 chapter 4 Lines and Angles Introduction and Review Exercise. Before going to the review exercise, let us see some definitions. See now what is a point. A point names a location in space. See example here point A. See next definition of line. A line extends without end in opposite directions. See the example line AB. Here A and B are points on this line. They both are going to extend on the opposite directions endlessly. See now what is a line segment? A line segment is a part of a line. Example line segment AB. See now what is a ray. A ray has one end point and extends without end in one direction. See the example here. We have drawn a ray. It is having only one end point and it is called as ray MN. See now what is an angle. Two rays or two line segments that will share an end point form an angle. See the example here we have drawn two rays they both are sharing one common end point so it formed an angle. So it is angle XYZ or angle ZYX. See now types of angles. If an angle is less than 90 degrees it is called as an acute angle. If an angle is exact 90 degrees it is called as right angle. If an angle is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees, it is called an obtuse angle. If an angle is exactly 180 degrees, it is called as a straight angle. If an angle is greater than 180 degrees, it is called as reflex angle. If an angle is exactly 360 degrees, it is called as full rotation. These are different types of angles. See now what are parallel lines. Two or more lines are said to be parallel if they never meet each other how long they are produced. See example here AB and CD are two lines. They both are parallel and they do not meet each other. So these two lines are called as parallel lines. See now intersecting lines. Two lines are said to be intersecting if they meet at a point. Here P and Q are two lines. They both meet at a point O. Here O is called as point of intersection. And lines P and Q are called as intersecting lines. See now what are perpendicular lines. Two lines are said to be perpendicular if they meet at right angles. Let us see example. Here AB and PQ are two lines. They both meet at a point and form the angle 90 degrees. Here line AB and line PQ are said to be perpendicular lines. See now review exercise. First question. Observe the figure and name the points, line segments, rays and lines from the figure. Let us see the solution. Here points are A, B, C, D, E and G. Line segments are A, B, A, D, A, E. Next B, D, B, C, B, E, D, E and D, C. Next rays are B, A, D, A, B, E, A, E, E, A and D, E. And lines are only one line that is Line A E. See now question number 2. Observe the figure and write intersecting lines and concurrent lines. Let us see the solution here. Intersecting lines are L and P. Next concurrent lines are L, M and N. These three are concurrent lines. See now third question. Draw a line segment PQ equal to 6.3 cm. Let us see the solution. Let us take a ruler. And keep 0 scale 1 point at 6.3 cm we must keep another point and join them and name them as PQ that equals to 6.3 cm. See now question number 4. Name any 3 possible angles in the adjacent figure. 
from the given figure the angles are angle P O Q or angle P O R or angle P O S which is a straight angle next angle Q O S next angle R O S next angle Q O R these are the possible angles we can take any three angles from this see now question number five write the types of angles you observed in the given clock first figure shows two o'clock the angle formed in this figure is acute angle if we observe the second figure it shows three o'clock so the angle formed in this is right angle if we observe the third figure it shows four o'clock so the angle formed in this clock is obtuse angle next if we observe the fourth figure it shows six o'clock the angle formed here is straight angle last one if we observe the fifth figure it shows eight o'clock so the angle formed here is a reflex angle see now question number six one right angle is equal to dash degrees it is 90 degrees See now question number 7. Write any two acute angles and any two obtuse angles. Let us see the solution. Here we have drawn two acute angles that is angle 80 degrees, angle 45 degrees. Next we have drawn two obtuse angles that is 110 degrees and 140 degrees. See now question number 8. Observe the parallel and perpendicular lines, the given figure. Write them using symbols parallel and perpendicular. Let us see solution. From the given figure, parallel lines are L is parallel to M. Perpendicular lines are L is perpendicular to N and M is perpendicular to N. So we have written parallel lines L parallel to M and perpendicular lines L perpendicular to N, M perpendicular to N. See now question number 9. Measure and write angle AOB with the help of protractor. Let us see the solution. To measure the angle, we have to use a protractor. See here, the base line of protractor must coincide with ray OB. So, let us place this protractor on ray OB. Next, the ray OA must coincide with protractor. Observe here, we place the protractor on the left side. So, we have to take the zero scale from the right side and this OA must coincide with the scale. So, here our angle is 40 degrees. Therefore, angle AOB is 40 degrees. Whenever we place protractor on the left side, we have to take right side zero scale. When we place the protractor on the right side, we have to choose the left side zero scale and measure the angle here we place protractor on the ray OB here the baseline must coincide with this OB and as we place this protractor on the left side we have chosen zero scale from the right side and OA coincide with 40 degrees on this protractor so the angle is here angle AOB equal to 40 degrees Today we have seen chapter 4 lines and angles introduction and review exercise. Hope you like this video. If you like this video please like share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.